Hi, I'm Amy from eSpares and in this video I'll be teaching you how to operate and maintain your lawnmower in a safer way. We have a whole series of appliance safety videos so be sure to check out our playlist that we'll link down in the description below and at the end of this video so you can keep the rest of your household appliances safer too. But first, your lawnmower. Now our first tip is a simple one but many of us are guilty of ignoring it and that is to make sure that before we start mowing we take a walk across our lawn and pick up any stones, sticks or debris. Ignoring these and mowing over them could cause them to fly up and hit you or could damage the lawnmower blades. Now, blunt blades will leave your grass patchy and uneven, so for best mowing results, it's best to just pick up the debris for your own safety too. Whilst on the topic of debris, no matter how hot the weather, don't mow in sandals or flip-flops. Make sure that you use trainers or old work boots to keep your feet nice and safe. Now, we don't need to tell you that water and electricity don't mix. But as your mower is designed to be used outdoors, it is easy to forget that it needs to be kept away from the elements. So be sure to store your mower in a dry shed or a garage, and if it's damp after use, be sure to wipe it down before storing it. Now our next tip is to make sure that if you're using extension leads when mowing your lawn, that they're set up in a dry place and that you don't drag the cable through puddles or dewy grass. Now it's not really a good idea to mow your lawn when it's wet anyway, as it's harder to mow and it will leave the grass quite uneven. Not only that, but the grass cuttings will clump together, making it harder to empty. So we always advise mowing your lawn on a dry day, but who'd want to mow it in the middle of a downpour anyway? Another tip for your electric mower is to make sure that you keep an eye on the cord and make sure it's out of the way. Mowing over the cord isn't only annoying because you have to replace it, but you also run the risk of getting quite a nasty electric shock. But for a bit of added protection when using your mower, pressure washer, power tools or other outdoor appliances, is to use a residual current device, otherwise known as an RCD for shorts. These devices plug into your sockets or extension cords and then you can plug in the appliance you're using into them. They automatically turn off the electricity if they detect any changes in the current to keep you safe if anything goes wrong from an electrocution. Now our next tip is to make sure you're always in the habit of unplugging your lawnmower as soon as you finish mowing. This is especially important if you're looking at the blades or emptying grass clippings or any debris from the underside of your mower. Just please make sure you double check it's unplugged before you put your hands anywhere near the blades. As with any appliance, pay attention to the warning signs and don't ignore them. If you smell burning or hear unusual noises, stop using your mower immediately until the problem's been found and sorted. On the topic of safety information, pay attention to appliance recalls as well. Make sure that when you buy a new machine, you register it with the manufacturer so they can get in touch with you with any safety information about your model. It's also a good idea to check your existing mower isn't on any recall list too. For more information and for what to do if you think your appliance is on a recall list, check our video here. In the rare instance that your lawnmower sets alight, don't try and put the fire out yourself. Make sure you get to safety and phone the fire brigade instead. So now hopefully you know a little more than you did before about how to keep your lawnmower safe. And if you haven't already seen them, make sure you check out our other videos on how to keep your other household appliances safe right here. Now a little knowledge goes a long way when it comes to your appliances, so make sure you subscribe to our channel for maintenance, repair advice and even product demonstration videos. Thanks for watching!